the order calling the case back was from state headquarters in Austin. Now, whether it was received from a higher level than that, I don't know. Our order was received from state headquarters. When did the actual second presidential appeal take place? Oh, that was back sometime after February, I believe, February or March. And I know you said you can't divulge who it is, but is this the son of someone prominent in Dallas? Do well, you believe that perhaps this was uh, favoritism or somebody playing politics? I would say that the family is prominent in some circles in Dallas, and uh, as far as being able to say definitively that yes, this was someone playing politics or pulling strings, I couldn't. I have no proof of it. But I just didn't feel that it was right that a man should have two chances at presidential appeal when the law, as far as I know, prescribes only one. Well, actually, I can't really say one way or the other because I'm not aware too much of what's uh, taken place. And um, I haven't broken any law since I've been in Brownwood. And I think I've kept my morals at a uh, standard that uh, I can be proud of, you know. And so I really don't understand any of the uh, functions behind the whole thing. What are your plans now? Well, I don't have any uh, yet. You know, you can't uh, really build any plans on when your life is in a uh, turmoil all the time, you know, by something or another, for some purpose or another. So I just like go from day to day and wonder what tomorrow's going to be. Well, I don't think there's any question in anyone's mind about me seeking a second term. I, the only question I've got is seeking a third term right now. I enjoy serving as governor, and I think that really a two-year term doesn't give you the opportunity to, to uh, get through very many programs, but I can see where this could just go on and on. The little particles you're looking at inside these containers are from another world. At least they are not from the planet Earth. In fact, they were brought here from the moon, the samples picked up by the Apollo 11 astronauts. Just looking at them, it, they look very much like any sort of a rock or piece of dirt you might pick up here on Earth. But to the trained scientist's eye, there is a great deal of interest in just what may be found upon closer study. These samples were picked up by Apollo 11 when they landed here on the face of the moon. These have been distributed now to scientists throughout not just the United States, but in many parts of the world for study. Here at the University of Texas at Dallas, the studying will be done by Dr. Charles Helsley, Dr. Ian McGregor, and Dr. James Carter. The samples are being treated with extreme care, but the scientists say that it is not that they are worried about getting contaminated, but they are worried about contaminating the samples, and they want to keep them as pure as possible while they study them. There will be other samples being brought here in the next few weeks, and they will be undergoing the same studies as these. Later on, they'll be getting more moon samples from future Apollo flights. This is Ross McDonald, Channel 8 News at the University of Texas at Dallas.
I'm hoping to say whether or not the moon has ever had a magnetic field. Uh, this is a very keen interest to scientists, at least, as to whether other bodies in the, in the uh, universe have, have magnetic fields. What if they do have? If they do have, it says that they probably have cores, like the Earth. Uh, they have differentiated and changed their surface chemistry. If they don't, they, uh, it probably means that they are primitive, very primary bodies that have had very little change in the last four billion years. Dr. McGregor? What will be the primary things you're looking for? Well, James Carter and I will be looking at the mineralogy of these samples as the main objective we're after. Which means? Which means we're trying to identify all the different minerals that are in these uh, lunar samples or in this fraction of the lunar dust that we have. And then th the next thing we're interested in is to try and look at the uh, textual relationships between the different mineral grains and uh, or glass grains because there seems to be a fair proportion of glass in the sample. Dr. Carter, what is the most important reason for trying to determine the origin of the Earth, the Moon, or any of these other things? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I think it actually goes back to uh, man wondering exactly where he came from, in essence, and everything that we can know about the solar system, about the planet Earth, and about the Moon, of course, is very important to us. 